August 30, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 553 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. How will Ukraine surpass the last evening's successful drone attacks? Kremlin ground attacks multiplied in the last day, especially around Donetsk and Bakhmut. Explosions in Feodosia occupied Crimea. Ukraine continues to expand the contested line around Robotine. Dnieper line. The Kremlin ordered 452 shells fired into the right bank of Kherson in the last day. Six casualties were counted. Neither side has released anything about the conditions of any of the river islands. Zaporizhia front. Almost every source reporting on the war agrees that Ukraine has made a deep penetration of the valley northwest of Verbov. A Kremlin-leaning blogger reports that Ukraine made attacks around the Morki Yoli and further east near Vyulodar. East Front, Donetsk. Conflicting reports of where attacks occurred on this front. The Kremlin launched an attack into the south side of the farming village of Novomykhailivka. Ukrainian defenders again repulsed Kremlin attacks at Mariinka. Ukraine made a small liberation of ground near Nevelska, expanding the contested zone in this area. Bakhmut area. At the very south of the area we might consider Bakhmut related, south of Ozarianivka at a bend in the canal, Ukraine has liberated another one square kilometer. The Kremlin launched twin attacks at Ozarianivka and Kurdyamivka, in attempts to steal the land next to the canal. Reports on successes here are conflicting, with neither side showing map changes. West of Bakhmut proper, the Kremlin made another assault. Reports of two crashed Ukrainian transport helicopters causing six fatalities in the area, have not been further explained. Reported bombing and missile strikes by the Kremlin were notably behind the mapped contact line on this front. Oskil border front. Ukrainian defenders once again repulsed Kremlin attacks at the town of Biloharivka. Southwest of Svartov the Ukrainians halted and reversed an attack into Novoyharivka. Northwest of Svartov, Kremlin troops attacked into the valley at the town of Stelmakivka. One source reports that the twin villages of Kotlirivka and Kislivka saw Kremlin forces attempt another attack. Shelling was noted as especially heavy in that area. Kremlin mouthpieces claim multiple attacks on both sides of Sinkivka, but report no line changes. Northern border. More drones were reported shot down in multiple regions, and it's often enough that reporting on each one is less than useful to the overall conditions. A large explosion was recorded deep in the middle of Russia, about halfway to the Ural Mountains from Ukraine, around Olivskaya of the Kirov Arblast. Black Sea. Something smoking and making a poop sound was reported, in the Crimean port city of Feodosia. The Kremlin has five ships on patrol at last report, none of them with missile capabilities. Ukraine world related. A Kremlin oligarchical stooge has declared that the bulge at Robotine is perfect for a tactical nuke. Spain and Belgium, currently lead the European Union's short list of members who increased their purchases of Russian liquefied natural gas by 40%, since the February 2022 invasion. The Office of the President of Ukraine met with members of Canada's parliament. Romania and the Netherlands have signed an agreement to train Ukrainian F-16 pilots in Romania. This week Germany sent to Ukraine aid in the form of 10 Leopard 1A5 tanks and a radar system. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.